Hey, this is Jeremy. I was calling about that uh, little trailer that you had on uh, the marketplace. Or, yeah, post on Facebook. Yeah, a friend of mine, Dave, has been talking to you about it. Um, I'm on my way over to pick that up. Just wanted to make sure you were there. Yeah, I've got a trailer. Yeah, he mentioned that the hitch was missing uh, the mechanism. And so I've, I've got a car trailer with me. We can throw it on there. Yep. Yeah, and it's right behind the dealership. Okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, a couple minutes away, so uh, I'll be there in just a few minutes. Sounds good. Talk to you then. All right, bye. So a friend of mine, Dave, actually uh, called me this morning, asked me if I'd go pick up this trailer that, uh, I believe it, it popped up on Facebook, might have been, might have been on one of the, the VW groups on Facebook, and uh, I actually messaged the guy and uh, didn't, never got a response. It's one of my pet peeves about people selling things on Facebook is, you message them, you know, people post something up for sale, they don't post a phone number or anything. You have to message them through Facebook and then uh, they never get back to you. Anyways, a friend of mine, Dave, he was a little more persistent than I was, kind of finally tracked this guy down and uh, called me today, asked me if I'd go pick this trailer up for him. So uh, that's what we're doing. It's kind of a cool little VW trailer. So pulling up here right now and I'll show you guys this trailer so let's take a closer look at this little trailer I'm gonna apologize right now it's a little windy out uh, the hitch was it's missing the the hardware here that's why I had to take the car trailer and pick it up. So I've got it kind of rigged up here. I wanted to put a car on it because I knew that if I put a video up with this trailer and we didn't put a car on it, I was going to catch some heat from somebody. So I've got it kind of rigged up. We've got the winch on it holding it from rolling back. I've got both wheels chocked and we're going to take my uh, trusty 67 Bug that uh, I don't know if we've ever even had this car on the channel. But this right here, this is my daily driver. Um, this thing's kind of my go-to, super reliable parts chasing bug. Um, great little car. We're gonna put this on the trailer and see how it fits. But let's take a closer look at this trailer first. Uh, probably was built in the 60s sometimes. It's got the five on 205 wheels. You know, these ended in, uh, 67 for type 1 um, they ended in 70 for buses and I'm not much into type 3's but what probably 65 so this trailer was probably built in the 60's um, the axle is just welded solid to the to the trailer there's no suspension a closer look at how the axle set up this is kind of unique here that the fenders actually cut out and I'm assuming that's for like a large paddle tire you know if you look at the track it's wider back here and then narrow up front this is obviously designed for a buggy the tail lights are on the bottom of the ramps and then when the ramps fold down um, you just drive right over those so I'm going to uh, very carefully attempt to load my rusty old 67 on here. We'll see how it fits. And then we'll let you take a look at it with the car loaded on it. Kind of a cool little trailer, probably super lightweight. I'll bet this thing probably weighs in at around 700 pounds maybe six or seven hundred pounds maybe a little more that's a fairly stout axle underneath it but you know it's fairly lightweight um, obviously built specifically for a Volkswagen if anybody 
has any more information on these, like where they came from, you know, I'm assuming it was a kit or something, maybe a company was manufacturing them in the 60s. Uh, feel free to comment below and tell us what you know about it. The guy we got it from seemed to think that it was a kit that was offered in hot V dubs. So I don't know about that. That's just uh, what he told me. So let's uh, fire up the 67 and load it up. See how this little trailer does. I'm gonna stop there and go have a closer look and see how we're lining up. Okay, we're we're lining up uh, a little too far to the left, and it looks narrow, but it's actually plenty plenty wide. it let's go forward and see what we're hitting on okay so if you notice the front of this trailer is already kind of elevated which is something that you would typically want to do if uh, you were having a hard time you know if you needed to drop the tail of the trailer by lifting the tongue you're gonna drop the tail but if you look underneath here that channel that's going down the middle is rubbing. This is a stock height car. You know, the 67s kind of sag a little in the back. But yeah, this trailer is not going to work for a stock height car. Um, I guess we could try lifting the front higher. It only needs a couple of, well, you know, the tires just about ready to go on the ramp probably with some uh two by sixes two by twelves you now sixes would work you know uh, a four foot two by six would probably get you up there um, it is going to be a little bit of a pain to load stock cars though on this trailer it's obviously a trailer that was built for a buggy or a short rail so let me see if i've got something here to try to fix this so that we can actually you know got to get a, a jpeg of this thing sitting on the trailer for for the video okay guys i managed to get the 67 up on the trailer um the first problem was right here the door does not open and that's with the car all the way forward i had to uh crawl out of the driver's window i promise you that was not pretty there was nothing graceful about it um, back here you can see if this was like a an off-road car um, it'd actually fit on here just right you know if you could bring these ramps up right behind the tire so this was a Baja bug uh, it would actually fit on here just right um, and there's plenty of room for big tires so it's perfect for a Baja bug you know a buggy a glass buggy a shortened buggy it'd be awesome um, But for a full body, you know, bug, street bug, a lowered car, so, sorry Kyle, but uh, yeah, lowered car, it's not gonna cut it, but um, you're gonna have to uh, stick with your tow bar when you're taking your epic road trips, buddy. All right, guys, well, that's it. There's the uh, 1960s VW trailer. I'll tease one more thing real quick here. I've got some parts on the way. Uh, we've got bullet fenders coming. We've got a four tab hood. We 
have uh, the right door, uh, ice pick door. My buddy Jason dropped this car off the other day and uh, we've got a bunch of parts coming for it. You guys probably remember this one. Um, the the Rolo bug we call it, the Raiders of the Lost Oval. So we got a bunch of parts coming for this thing right now. And uh, got a pan, got a beam, got a transaxle. I got an engine in the shop that we're gonna just kind of throw together. It's pieces and parts right now, but just throw together a cheapo motor. Basically trying to put this thing together for next to nothing. Um, but right now I am missing a driver's door still, trying to round one of those up. But uh, gonna be doing some videos on this car real soon. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna go try to crawl back in this 67 without killing myself and unload this little trailer. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you later.